free speech, spying on Americans, and targeting individuals for their political beliefs. And what's most troubling is that every day I talk to more and more Americans who are losing faith in our system of government and in the promise of the American dream. But the problems that we face as a nation aren't caused by the American people. We haven't lost our can-do spirit or our uh, sense of American ingenuity. Uh, the American people are as resilient and innovative as they've ever been. Americans believe that Washington's abandoned them. And they look, uh, they're looking at both political parties right now, and neither seem to be offering what people want. And that is a government that's fiscally responsible and trusts am the American people to make decisions for themselves in all aspects of their lives. Ronald Reagan once said, a great party shines a light and attracts people from all walks of life from coast to coast. But just look at what's happening here in New England. Millions of people should be attracted to our message of small government and fiscal responsibility. Millions of young people wary of big government should be the next generation of Republican leaders, but they're not. And do you know why? It's because we'll never be a 21st century party if our platform stuck in the 19th century. We must do better and we need to become a party not only for the last generation, but the next generation. The party that speaks for not just one region of the country, but the entire, uh, every state in the United States. It's in our party's DNA to champion freedom and champion liberty. It's in our party's DNA to be a beacon of hope. Yet, while our party has remained consistent on matters of economics and foreign affairs, some have abandoned our principles on matters of civil rights and individual freedoms. So it's appropriate that we're here in New Hampshire, the live free or die state, because the message that our national leaders need to hear in Washington is promote freedom or risk dying. Promote freedom in the economy and empower Americans to make their own decisions. Promote freedom abroad with our military that ensures peace through strength. And yes, the Republican Party must promote freedom in our personal lives. And among other things, that means the freedom to marry the person that you love. <laughs> Throughout our history, our party has always led the way when it comes to freedom and when it comes to expanding civil rights. It was the Republican Party that drove the abolitionist movement, that secured a woman's right to vote, and that promoted the civil rights movement. Today, I see a party in danger of losing its own history and in turn, losing the country. We can't let that happen as Republicans because it's our party that has the answers to the critical issues of the day that are facing our country. But if we've made ourselves unacceptable to millions of people, particularly younger Americans, the light of our message can't shine as brightly as it should. It was Barry Goldwater, the father of the conservative movement, who put it so simply, that the government should get off your back, out of your wallet, and away from the bedroom. And we've, we've, we've strayed from that message. Here in New England, we've strayed from that message, and our party has paid a terrible price. Not only do we not have a Republican in the congressional delegation in Massachusetts, we don't have a Republican in the entire congressional delegation for the New England delegation in Congress. That's the people's house. You know, we don't have one. As we look forward, I ask you to stand with me this election as I promote a vision of freedom, not only within the Republican Party, but for America, its America itself. We're all here today for a reason, because we know America is at a crossroads. We've never had bigger challenges as a country. And the central quest question really is, is what kind of country are we going to be 10 years, 20 years, 50 years down the line? Are we going to be a prosperous nation that can pay its bills, or are we going to be a nation spiraling towards fiscal collapse? Will, be, will we be a country where the free enterprise system continues to create good jobs and a higher standard of living for every American? Or are we going to be a country where the nation, where our government chooses all the winners and losers and controls every aspect of our economy? Are we going to be a country where hard work and success are encouraged and rewarded? Or are we going to end up being a country where it's attacked and vilified? Will we be a nation that promotes self-sufficiency an individual responsibility? Or are we going to become a country where everybody's dependent upon the government? Finally, and most importantly, will we still be the greatest and most powerful nation ever to face the, grace, 
disgrace of this earth, or are we going to be a country uh, and accept the Democrats' premise that our best days are behind us? This election for all of us, I really do think, is a call to action um, because the issues are so important and they're going to affect Americans in so many ways. We need to really go out there, we need to win elections, and we need to attract people to the Republican banner. We need to bring new people into the party. So let's, let's all promote freedom, all freedoms, starting today. Let us truly embrace freedom, all freedoms, or risk seeing America's best days behind us. The vision needs to start here in New England. We've led before, and I'm sure we can lead again. Thank you very much for having me and giving me this opportunity.